Hello and welcome once again to another episode of The Naked Turner. Today I have Kian, who's going to be turning a Celtic Goblet. Very fitting for two Celtic guys to be turning a Celtic Goblet. Uh, this is his first experience in turning a goblet, so um, we're going to go about creating the shape, refining the shape, and hollowing it out. We've gotten to creating the outer shape of this, and we've left a fair amount of meat here because you don't want to get too far, take too much of this away, or the goblet will start wobbling around, and you'll either end up chasing that wobble all the time, or most likely splitting the goblet off at the stem. So we have it to the point right now where it's bored out to right about the equator line here, and Ian's gonna start using the half inch by half inch scraper in order to hollow out the bottom of this and get a nice soft curve. Uh, and then we'll refine the outer edge, do some sanding, and move on to the stem. Ian's gonna take over from here. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm ready. Always remember to read, understand, and follow all the shop safety for any tool that you're using, and especially wear the safety shield. Eyes are important. This is always challenging because you're reaching down to the inside and trying to get right into the center of this goblet. And it looks like he's got a good spot there. Be prepared for a little pull as you enter the center. And come up a little higher. Let me show you the key here. So what you're doing, this is what you want to do. Instead of holding underhand, and I know it's hard because you want to yeah, be able I'm to see. To so you, what you want to do is still hold overhand, maybe kind of like this, mm -hmm. and come in. You don't have to see it so much, you'll feel it, but if you can see it, you're entering, you want to enter, you want to enter this side of center. If you enter that side of center or right on center, it's going to try to start taking you in a circle. So the best thing to do, I come in a little lower than I want to be usually, and I'm a little to the left of center, which is funny. Um, and then I slowly roll myself out. Yeah, okay. So just like that, same thing. Go right in there, just a little left of center, and then slowly roll out. Take light cuts to um, at first yeah, okay. until you feel comfortable. There you go. You got it. It's exactly what you want to do. Nice. And you feel it. You can feel when you're getting a nice cut. Or when I'm not. But... Or when you're not. And if you get pulled around a little like that, that's normal. You're cutting through end grain. So what's happening is you're getting, um, you're getting different levels of uh, the wood itself pulling on that little hook that's on the end of the scraper. Okay, here Kian is using the half inch by half inch Robert Sorby scraper in order to take some material off the bottom and sidewalls of this goblet. Uh, there I was just showing him how to remove the nub in the bottom and now he's coming to take over and remove that nub and refine the bottom of the goblet. Now we're uh, checking the wall thickness and feeling for any funny little uh, steps or um, grooves in there that we want to remove and now I'm turning up the speed and Kian's going to continue refining that outer edge and bottom of the goblet. Uh, he's got a good handle on it and uh, it seems to be going really well right now. Okay now I'm showing Kian how to use the edge of the tool in line with the outer wall to remove a little um, a little divot that's in the bottom of this piece. And I'm showing him how to keep control with his thumb and not allow the tool to roll uh, as he's using it and it gets a little catch in the bottom. So he's doing really well. We're almost at a point now where the vessel is approaching its finalized shape. We're checking the depth. Now we're going to refine the outer edge. Okay, I'm using a bowl gouge here and now Kian's coming in using that same bowl gouge to round over 
the outer lip and get a nice polished finish on that outer edge of this goblet. There you go. Straight in. Okay, Kian's about to get a catch right here. Uh, I'm trying to um, warn him that he's coming in a little too flat with the scraper, and he catches an edge right about here. Almost at the bottom, raise your hand and down. that edge that he caught causes the uh, goblet to pull away from the jaws and we get a little wobble. Luckily there wasn't any damage and we're able to recenter this and continue turning. Yeah, nothing broke. So you can see, yeah, what was happening was you were a little above, your yeah, handle was yeah. too, like, too much like that and so it was, flat. and then if you would lift your handle a little bit, you'd be coming in more on center line. Yeah. So now what we'll do is it just caught there a little bit, and I think we'll be able to get ourselves back centered pretty easily. Sure, we a good point. But yeah, about like that. You can come in here and see that when you're in the right spot, you want to be about like that. Feel that? So you'll notice that if you, yeah, and if anything, you want to be a little bit more than that. So there you have it. Pop that sucker out of there and we'll start up. Cool. All right, Kean's coming in here and uh, refining the bottom of the vessel. And we're just about there. And then we'll switch over. I'm just kind of getting rid of the nub that's there in the bottom for him right now. And uh, we're pretty much ready. My camera was focusing on the background here, but uh, in a minute, focus will come back in, so sorry about that. And I probably shouldn't go all the way to that line. Uh, you could, yeah, you can go all the way to that line. It looks like you won't have to, but you might not need going. quite as much stem, like you probably only need about that much stem. What I would do now is refine this edge. Okay. You're at a good point if you just kind of go from where you started here down to the size of the stem you want. Okay. And that should get you close. Okay, this one's mine. Yeah. Okay, Kian's using this half inch bowl gouge to refine the shape of the bottom of the goblet as it meets the stem. Now we're switching back to the roughing gouge to remove a bunch of the material and get down to the size that we want to create uh, the stem. So this is just an easy way to remove a bunch of material real quickly. Now we're using the parting tool just to kind of get rid of some of that material as well and make a little gap space so that we can get in with the roughing gouge a little more efficiently. Okay, we're back to the half inch bowl gouge and Kian's just removing material. We're getting down to a stem shape and he's wanting to put a couple beads in on the stem. So now he's working on refining the beads and I was just showing him there how to create the bead using this tool. And he's going about refining that stem up to the bead point. I'm doing a little bit of uh, refining of that bead that he just did and now he's back. We're creating some uh, spaces and switching over to the Cindy Drozda spindle uh, and finial turning tool and using that to define some of these beads a little bit more successfully. Now I'm using my V-point scraper to get in and make some space. We had a little bit of tear out. Now we're removing that tear out with the Cindy Drozda tool and refining the shape and size of those beads as they meet the stem.
You have a valley, mm -hmm. you have a peak, you have a valley. You and the next a... peak will go into the... Right, and this will be your next peak, somewhere right around there. Okay. So what you might want to do is come in from that point, which that line I made is pretty close to the same size as that last one. Mm -hmm. So if you came in there and pushed in that way, and you could do it with this, do it you'd be way. going like this. Okay. Come in there, push in that way. That'll create your next, so you'd have your valley already. That okay. becomes your peak. Push down in, and you could come back this way and remove a little material. Okay, Kian's using the Cindy Drozda spindle um, tool and finial tool in order to create these beads at the top of his stem. Now I'm helping him to remove some of that material and showing him the angle to use this particular spindle gouge at. Now he's removing some of that material with that spindle gouge. We're trying to get down to a good size. We're back to the half inch uh, bowl gouge. And doing a little refining cut here, I'm showing Kian how to use the bowl gouge almost like a skew and uh, get a nice clean cut here. Sorry about being in the way so much, but uh, I had kind of a limited camera angle and was focusing on teaching. Okay. Okay. The final defining cut on this bottom edge here of the last bead. That's it. That looks really good. All right, so we have a successful goblet, and now Kian is down to the sanding stage of the stem. It's got a real nice shape going on, and we're getting ready to uh, do the final sanding sealer and polishing finish and then part this piece off uh, but before we do that we're going to step sand this particular piece from uh, 150 down here on the stem up through 400 and rather than bore you with that process we'll fast forward toward the end of this and uh, you'll get to see the finished goblet Okay, Kian's getting down to a point here. He's getting ready to park this goblet off. And uh, he's going to get it down to about a half inch or so. And then we'll cut that last little nub off uh, just to make sure we don't damage the goblet. But it's looking real pretty. Nice shape, great finish. And uh, it's going to be ready to rock and roll. Watch your hands, of course. Okay, it looks like he's down to a good point to cut this off. So uh, we're going to get ready to cut this off here. And we'll show you the finished product.